Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this mini-series, I'm looking at great plugins from Waves Audio. One of my favorites for riding vocals is called Vocal Rider. Okay, before we get into it, if you like this video, remember to hit the like button on the video down below and also subscribe to the channel and you can ding the bell so you never miss another video from me all about audio production. Here I've got a recorded voice and as you can see, there are already some loud parts uh, around here and around here for certain. And then there are quieter parts around here, here, here and at the end. Now, wouldn't it be great if we could even that all out so it was a consistent volume? Well, yes, you're going to say, Mike, that is what compression is designed for, right? Well, yes, of course, compression can do it, but it changes the shape of your overall audio. With Vocal Rider, what it will do is it will ride a fader up and down to even out your voice. Uh, let me first of all switch this Vocal Rider off and play you the raw voice so you can hear what I'm talking about. Hello, I'm Mike, and sometimes I'm really loud and sometimes I'm quite quiet, but it doesn't matter how loud or quiet I get because Vocal Rider has me covered. Okay, you can hear how it's going up and down in volume, and that can be unpleasant to the listener, particularly if it's a podcast and you want even levels, if they're listening in earphones or in the gym, lots of background noise, having a level voice can really help. And that's where switching on Vocal Rider will even things out. Hello, I'm Mike, Look at that. sometimes I'm really loud. And sometimes I'm quite quiet. But so when the quiet bits are coming in, the fader is going up. And when the loud bits are coming in, the fader is going down. It's not compressing the audio. It's simply changing the volume for the loud and quiet parts. And it's doing it as quickly or as slowly as you'd like. Let me actually switch on the preview window and move this over to the side so you can see what's going on with the audio here. Now you can see it's leveled much of this here, much more than it was in the before view up at the top, uh, but it hasn't quite caught the beginning and that's because it's on the slow setting. I advise if you're working with speech, particularly speech that has a loud part at the start like hello, which can be really loud before you get into the normal kind of speech, switch on fast and it should catch, yeah, and it did catch that peak at the start, which is really good. So that's really it. I mean, it's just a great plugin. It works by itself pretty much. You can turn up the output gain at the end. You can choose the range of volume that you're working with. So you can obviously go for a, a you know, you can move it down further to really squash down those peaks if you wish. Uh, you can work with lower level volume as well. So you're working on, uh, across the whole range. It's better to have a tight range really, or just play around with the presets until you get something you like. Like for instance, for this clip, I found that the low rider seemed to work pretty well in leveling things out. Um, but obviously, have a play yourself. Default settings work quite well, but of course, do bear in mind that you want the fast to be on. You can also change the sensitivity for vocals or for music. Yes, that's right. Vocal Rider also works on music if you want to ride the levels of a track if it's all over the place. Uh, one moment it's loud, one moment it's quiet. You can do all of that kind of stuff as well. I might turn the sensitivity up on these vocals uh, just a little bit more and bring this down so we can really get a nicely leveled out uh, voice here. And that actually looks pretty good. I might go ahead and apply that and get a nicely leveled out voice. It's much better than it was before, certainly looking a lot more even, and Vocal Rider can do that for you. If you'd like to get a 10% discount on this plugin or any plugin, definitely go ahead and use my link at mrc.fm forward slash waves. That is mrc.fm forward slash waves. And if you have any feedback on how you're leveling out vocals, let me know in the comments down below.